Hi, welcome to Desi Plaza TV. Name me Madhav. So we do have great people who have defined physics in their own language with n number of devotees. Now today I do have uh, Prince Nallamodala who is a third grader with me. So Atan Gurinchi yanta chepna takwe because he has a day on his name. So ENT Avani anedi e deep ka discussion jays tu watli guri chanta tilts kun So Prince, how are you? Hello, Nar. I'm good. How are you? I am good, thank you Prince. So Prince, first of all, Concho, can you just tell us about yourself, your family? Yeah, um, I am 8 years old, um, and I am 9 years old, I am in 3rd grade. Um, I, my birthday is on January 18th. Um, my family and me and my mom, we like to do science a lot. And my dad, he is kind of like a technology person, so it's kind of like I learn a lot from my family because they provide me with lots of information and they give, give me lots of knowledge to learn from. So that's how I got interested into science from my parents. So you are a third grader, right? Yes. So when, when was the first time that you actually remember when you did your uh, interest towards the science experiments and all this stuff? Um, my first science experiment I did, I was about six years old. Okay. So now I'm nine. So. And what was that first experiment? Um, I made a spectroscope and what it does is it can tell the different elements of the periodic table with the light spectrum and mm -hmm. you use the different light patterns as different elements so I thought maybe if we shine it at different planets we can see what it's made of like helium, hydrogen, oxygen and all those things. So, how, so you do have a prototype over here? At your yes, place? yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll uh, go. Go, go and have a look at it later. But so this first, I mean like your interest towards, uh, how did you actually develop this interest towards science? Um, my mom does a lot of science things. Um, um, she does lots of science. She studies science a lot. So one day I was just curious of what she's doing, and I saw, and I just, it, it's really, it just became really interesting to me. So since then, I've just been learning more and more. So your mom is your teacher. For, I, yeah. And, and and your da dad is a uh, one who supplies you yeah, with yes, all your yeah. stuffs, what you want. Mm. Good. So. And uh, so that that was the it was six years old yeah. uh, and that was your first experiment and then what was uh, after that what all uh, things did you invent? Um, I've done multiple things such as for paradigm challenge I did the sneeze pod and then for the Chicago toying game fair I did a happy family app board game and video game. And then uh, last year, Explorer Vision, I did, um, I did safe. No problem, you can take a help. But when, how do, I mean like, uh, before and uh, before a challenge comes, I mean like, for example, the first experiment, it was, there, there was nothing planned for it, right? Mm -hmm. But this afterwards, then when you entered into the Chicago, uh, what you say the competition yeah. and all those comp so how did you actually end up uh, selecting that particular uh, uh, thing for example a sneeze pods yeah so uh, did you how did uh, how how did you do your homework it was you along with your mom, mom and dad or how did you end up um, uh, selecting that particular challenge yeah so the the concept or idea how I came up is is um, I just study a lot and then I sometimes I just come across problems around the world and I just try to solve those problems and make the world a better place. So it's all out of box thinking. Yeah. Good, good, good man. And uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a scientist or an inventor. A scientist or an inventor. You're already a scientist or mm. an inventor, right? Yeah. So you want to just continue this? Yeah. No, 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 no change, right? In in, in your plans. No. Good. And how does it feel uh, when people actually you you already have a day on your name, yeah. right? So how does it feel when they say on on March fifteenth, it's it's Prince Nalamothala Day. So how does it feel for you? Um, it's uh, I feel very thankful and grateful for Mayor Jeff Cheney for giving me the a special day all to myself uh -huh. and I feel very grateful for that. Grateful. Good man.
So, and uh, I, I, I definitely never knew that I'm going to complete my college, where I'm going to complete my college, okay? But you, you got an entire scholarship for your four yeah. years degree from UNT, UNT right? UNT, yes. So, I'm, I'm sure you're not going to definitely, yeah. you, you'll, you'll be having other options, options when you grow yeah. up. But how does it feel when someone actually gave you that offer? Um, again, I felt very grateful that um, he just came and gave it this big opportunity to me. Mm -hmm. It feel very grateful and thankful that he is giving me such a big opportunity. And what do you do in your past time? First of all, let me know, do you have some free time or you're all yeah, always... Uh, I have lots of free time that I do for different activities. I play soccer. Um, and I do, I finished black belt in martial arts and now I do kickboxing mm -hmm. and I like, I have lots of other activities as well. So, and how do you, how do you manage, man? You, <laughs> you invent things and which, which school do you actually go? I go to Cali Elementary. Cali Elementary School. So, and uh, do they, how do, how do your school guys support you? Is it like... Uh, um, they give lots of encouragement and they show lots of grace to me and they show lots of grit and they're just very kind to me and they're just saying like, keep on going, you're doing a great job so far, keep on going and they give me lots of encouragement. And, and so you have a timetable for in, uh, for example, yeah. say 8 o'clock, you wake yeah. up at 8, 8 to 9 sharp, yeah. you have to do this. So what I do is um, on weekdays, uh, I will do at least one or two hours of uh, science work, where, uh, whereas on weekends, I will do at least half a day okay. of science. And, and, and the other activities, how do you manage? Um, <laughs> like I am... Um, no, I'm just arguing, that's fine. Because of me being uh, at this age, I, I can't uh, do whatever you have done. And at this age, you have achieved everything. That's a good thing. And one more thing, this YouTube channel. Okay, yeah. To start a YouTube channel, whose idea was it? Um, it was my idea because after I did so many challenges, I just wanted to spread all the knowledge with the world. And I want there to be more people like me. So the world can become a better place. That's a good thought, buddy. But you have around 528. Five, yeah. Uh, I also do not have those many subscribers. Mm. No? That's the reason I actually agreed uh, for the <laughs> interview, you know, because so that I, at least people would know <laughs> who I am. <laughs> but that's a good thought. So it was your thought and yeah. how do you, where do you, I mean, like, it is like all you actually sh uh, have those videos prepared at your home or? Um, I write the scripts, but my mom with the camera, she will record everything and then we will use, we, for the editing of the video, we will use KineMaster and then we will just. So everything, technology is uh, your dad, everything yes, is over, yes. over here in home. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a good thing. Mm. 528 subscribers, not a small yeah. thing. And about. Generally, YouTube videos, we know people uh, these days, yeah. they're, they're making every crap thing in YouTube. Yeah. But quantum physics, right? That's what you, you chose. Yeah. So, your, why particular quantum physics? Um, as I said, my mom studies lots of science and one of the things she studies is quantum physics, uh -huh. which is the study of subatomic particles. And so, I, I, I was just thinking of like, how does everything work? Is it all due to quantum physics? I mean, like um, everything atoms is due to quantum physics or atoms are part of quantum physics, right? And everything's made up of atoms. So I wanted to know how everything works or how things work in a certain way or when they're being observed, not being observed. So I just got really interested. I had lots of questions. So um, I just wanted to learn more. And then again, I just wanted to share all my knowledge. I, I wanted to ask you one thing, but I know it will be a stupid question for you. But when you uh, try to learn something, so how do you try to understand it? Is it like the moment you, you study something, you go, you experiment it with the uh, things? Or is it, uh, how do you try to understand it? You go to your mom or dad, ask uh, ask them to explain you or... No, this is actually for uh, the other guys yeah. so that they can follow the same and try to grasp, grasp the more. So my mom in quantum physics, she teaches me in simple terms of of different things like uh, if quantum physics it uses the atoms or something she will try to explain it using people or marbles or toys or something like that so then I understand the concept and then I try to explain that in the easiest way possible in my YouTube channel 
So oh, okay, so first you uh, she explains yes. you, you understand it, and then you pass on to yeah. the other people. So it's like after this interview, people can actually approach your mm. mom for uh, yeah. what you say for tuitions and all those stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, good. So then it is like uh, you already won what you say the the Nobel Prize for kids, right? Yeah. And so your next target would be for the Nobel Prize for adults, right? Uh, so no. what? Uh, yeah. Good. Um, what I'm aiming for is the. PIA award or something. Uh -huh. It's the environmental youth um, environmental youth protection awards. Okay. So that's the. It's a actually like you meet the president. So uh -huh. it's like a national thing, and it it's really. I just want to get that one. Uh, I um, that's so what that's I'm the, aiming for. So to all the all your competitors, uh, it's a it's a it'll be a challenge, right? Asking yeah. them. So I'm good. I'm going to be in that line. So be careful. Mm. <laughs> but that's fine. That's a good. I never. I mean, like I I don't know what what that is, so I can't comment on it. What what's 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 there? In, uh, that's that's one thing. Uh, so is it like you have a special? Uh, are you preparing something for that uh, particular uh, competition, or do you have something in your mind, or you have to uh, still think about uh, what you're going to plan for? So before I enter into a challenge, I brainstorm my ideas and I just pick which which idea is the best at the end. So then I will work on that idea. I'll try to make mm -hmm. a working prototype. Then I'll put. I'll just uh, submit it into the challenge, and that's how I get through. Get through it. So we'll take a quick break over here. Yeah. Go see your experiments, yeah. all your stuff. Mm -hmm. So just stay tuned. Uh, we'll we'll just go uh, to Prince Nalumotla's experiment. Just see what all uh, he has for us, and we'll try to demonstrate. And uh, he'll he'll try to demonstrate for us and let us know. Hi, welcome back. So even a month ago, Prince Walla parents were there. So Oxar Walla Matal lo ne. What Ella feel out now, Prince, uh, he, who has made all these achievements at a very young age, or sorry, tells Kondo. So, hi, and Ella, how are you? Na per balu andi. Near andi. So, Prince, at the age of third, and in that come matter, then apuru mama naangar, amma naangar, amagar emo, denti science paranga and mere emo technology paranga na. So, first of all, ilanti support unna koda. He has an interest to develop chase. Me, me, that. My just use now. Push up, punna goda. That my grasp chase. Yeah, one knee. He's he's achieving all this stuff. So, yalla feel out there. How are you feeling? We're definitely feeling proud, and we are feeling very blessed for him having him as our son. Chal simple ke ye pese rendi. So yeah, and manna jari na puru. Binay wale kai the kachchanga goosebumps goosebumps se dehochin. Having a day on your name. Kani Alanti, the last time in front of all the big people over there, Prince on on March fifteenth, he's having here, yeah, yeah third zero three fifteen, is it? Jan fifteenth. Oh, Jan fifteenth. Ah, uh, right, Jan fifteenth, right. So it's it's Prince Nalamoth last day. So how 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 do you? Ella, mali great and chipka kanda. Ella kuchu kuchu. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, it's like you know, it's we are feeling grateful and thankful to everyone who ever made this possible. So it was not expected. So we went like uh, to attend the proclamation from mayor, and um, he he and his mom they said, okay, we want to do something for the city. So because all this time he did some projects about uh, sneeze parts that helps the kids. He, that idea he got from one of his cousins when she is suffering from the uh, cold. Then that's where he got he got that idea. And then the happy family game he got that because every Friday we used to play the games. He got bored of all the games and he said, I want to. Build my own game. That's where the idea came. So these two ideas uh, helped him to get the awards, and then city got to know about it, and then city invited him to come for the proclamation. So we went there. So and uh, he he was called up onto the stage, and then uh, mayor was asking him, "What do you like, Kandal?" He said, "I like Legos." Then uh, he said, "Okay, do you have anything with the Legos?" Then he had his own idea that he came up. The idea is about uh, how to help the farmers, and also how to help the farmers, and it, how it helps the city as well. For the lawn moving and all, so and then he presented the idea, and everyone liked it. It's like you know, it's like a standing uh, applause. Everyone 
and then uh, we never knew that uh, UNT president Mr. Niels Marsu was there and he came onto the stage all of a sudden and like you know he was waving his hand and he said he wanted to talk. Then the mayor offered him the mic and then he said okay he just gave his uh, visiting card he had nothing else because it was on the spot so he just gave him his visiting card and said I'm offering you full ride. So we were surprised like you know, it was kind of it was a dream come true we never expected that he is going to end the full ride in this such a young age so definitely we are feeling thank uh, thankful and also we are feeling blessed to have him as our son and unkote indante in this is actually correct age that uh, he has got all these indanti uh, uh, recognition anedi endukante nen chusna oka age oka age ochin tarvata teenage lo kochi appudu vaste ganaka koncho garam anedi ochi tarvata there are chances of uh, వే మారే ఛాన్స్ ఉంది కానీ ఇప్పుడు వచ్చేటప్పటికి వీళ్ళకి అలవాటు అయిపోయి నేను మొన్న లాస్ట్ టైం ఇంకో పిల్లని కలిసింది సో వీళ్ళందరికీ ఏంటంటే ఇప్పటి నుంచి వచ్చేటప్పటికి ఆ గర్వం అనే ఫ్యాక్టరీ ఉండదు వీళ్ళకి సో అలాగే ఎంజాయ్ చేస్తూ వాళ్ళు నేర్చుకుంటారు అవి వస్తూనే ఉంటాయి అవి ఇట్ బి లైక్ ఏదో పైలప్ అయిపోతూ ఉంటే దే డోంట్ కేర్ అబౌట్ ఇట్ సో అండ్ ఇంకోటి మా మామూలుగా మామగారు ఇది మామగారు ఇది అది చెప్తూనే ఉన్నారు సో మీరు ఏంటి మీ బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ అంటే మీకు ఇంట్రెస్టా ఐ మీన్ లైక్ డూ యూ వర్క్ యాక్చువల్లీ మీరు వర్క్ చేస్తారా సో ఒకసారి యాక్చువల్గా నేను ఫుల్ టైమ్ కాంబినెంట్లో వర్క్ చేస్తానండి మేనేజర్గా ఉన్నాను ఐటీ ఇండస్ట్రీ సైన్స్తో అసలు సంబంధం లేదంటే ఐ మీన్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ కోడింగ్ అదంతానే బట్ ఏంటంటే నాకు పర్సనలీ సైన్స్ అంటే బాగా ఇష్టం చిన్నప్పటి నుంచి అండ్ నేను బుక్స్ కూడా రాశాను క్వాంటమ్ ఫిజిక్స్ పైన అండ్ రీసెర్చ్ పేపర్స్ అవి పబ్లిష్ చేశాను అవుట్ ఆఫ్ మై ఓన్ ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఆఫ్టర్ వర్క్ సెకండ్ షిఫ్ట్ లాగా పెట్టుకొని నేను రోజు చదువుతూ ఆ బుక్స్ కోసం రీసెర్చ్ చేస్తున్నప్పుడు ఐ ఫెల్ట్ లైక్ షేరింగ్ అనమాట అంటే చూడు ఎంత ఆసమ్ సైన్స్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ ఉన్నాయి అని ఐ వాంటెడ్ టు షేర్ విత్ సమ్ వన్ కానీ తను బిజీగా ఉండడం వల్ల తగ్గ షేర్ చేసుకోవడానికి కుదరలేదు సో వన్ డే హీ కెప్ట్ ఆన్ ఆస్కింగ్ మీ ఏం చదువుతున్నావు ఏం చేస్తున్నావు అని చెప్పి అప్పుడు అతనికి అర్థమవుతుందా ఇంత చిన్నపిల్లోడు నేను అనవసరంగా ఇంత కాన్సెప్ట్స్ అతనికి ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేయలేను అలా అనుకున్నాను కానీ ఐ ట్రై టు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఇట్ ఇన్ సింపుల్ టర్మ్స్ సీ దిస్ ఈస్ హౌ ఇట్ వర్క్స్ అనేసి అండ్ హీ రియలీ ఆస్ట్ రిలవెంట్ క్వశ్చన్స్ అంటే కరెక్ట్గా నన్ను క్వశ్చన్ చేశాడు ఇదైతే ఇలా ఎలా అలా ఎలా అని అని చాలా క్వశ్చన్ చేయడం వల్ల దెన్ ఐ థాట్ ఇతనికి అర్థమవుతున్నప్పుడు ఎందుకు చెప్పకూడదు అని చెప్పి ఐ స్టార్టెడ్ ఇండ్యూజింగ్ స్లోలీ ఆ ప్యాషన్ అనేది ఇండ్యూస్ చేయడం స్టార్ట్ చేశాను అది క్వాంటమ్ ఫిజిక్స్ బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ జనరల్గా నేను ఎలా అంటే ఐ వాంట్ టు కీప్ ఇమ్ ఆక్యుపైడ్ ఫస్ట్ థింగ్ ఎంగేజ్డ్ ఆల్ ద టైమ్ ఎందుకంటే చాలామంది నన్ను వచ్చి అడుగుతారు అనమాట మీరు స్ట్రెస్ చేసేస్తున్నారా పిల్లని ఎందుకు ఇన్ని ఇన్ని అవర్స్ ఎలా చేస్తు ఇన్ని ఎలా చేస్తున్నాడు అసలు అన్నిట్లోనే ఎలా ఉన్నాడు మీరు అసలు ఆడుకొని ఇస్తున్నారా బాబుని అలా నన్ను అందరూ వచ్చి అడుగుతూ ఉంటారు హీఈస్ జస్ట్ లైక్ ఎనీ అదర్ కిడ్ అన్నీ ఆడుకుంటాడు చాలా ఫ్రీ టైం ఉంటుంది అన్నిట్లోనూ పార్టిసిపేట్ చేస్తాడు కాకపోతే రోజుకు ఒక గంట నేను కూర్చుంటాను వాడితోటి కూర్చొని ఏదైనా నేర్పించడానికి ట్రై చేస్తాను వాడితో ఆడుతూ ఇట్ టేక్స్ అ లాట్ ఆఫ్ పేషెన్స్ ఎందుకంటే వాళ్ళకి ఏజ్లో కుదురుగా కూర్చొని సిద్ధి అంటారు కదా అలా కూర్చొని చేయడం ఉండదు పిల్లలకి ఇట్స్ నాట్ రాంగ్ దట్ ఈస్ హౌ దే ఆర్ దే బ్రెయిన్ వర్క్స్ వెరీ ఫాస్ట్ సో మనం చాలా ఓర్పుగా వాళ్ళ వాళ్ళతోటి పిల్లల్లాగా మాట్లాడుతూ వాళ్ళు చెప్పేది వింటూ నేర్పిస్తే ఐ థింక్ దేల్ గెట్ ఇట్ దేల్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ఇట్ అండ్ దేల్ నాట్ ఫీల్ స్ట్రెస్ఫుల్ ఆల్సో అది వాళ్ళకి ఒక కొన్ని రోజుల తర్వాత అలవాటు అయిపోతుంది వాట్ నెక్స్ట్ నాకు ఏదో ఒకటి చెప్పు ఇంకా ఏదన్నా నేర్పించు నువ్వేం చదువుతున్నావు నువ్వే అసలు ఎప్పుడేం చేస్తున్నావు అన్నట్టు వచ్చి నన్ను అదే పని కోసం పని భూతం అనే మనం స్టోరీ చదువుంటాం కదా చిన్నప్పుడు అలా వచ్చి అడుగుతూ ఉంటాడు వాడికి ఏదన్నా ఎంగేజ్ చేయలేకపోతే ఐ ఫీల్ గిల్టీ ఇంకా అలా నేను ఐ ఐ హ్యావ్ ప్లాన్స్ అనమాట వాడు వచ్చి అడిగినప్పుడు నేను ఇది ఇవ్వాలి నెక్స్ట్ ఇది ప్రిపేర్డ్గా ఉండాలి అని చెప్పి నేను కూడా ప్రిపేర్డ్గా ఉండడం స్టార్ట్ చేశాను దట్స్ హౌ ఇట్ ఆల్ స్టార్టెడ్ ఇంకా నాకు కూడా ఎక్స్ట్రా వర్క్ అవుతుంది డెఫినెట్లీ వాడు వీడియోస్ ఏమైనా ఎడిట్ చేసుకోవాలన్నా నైట్ టైం కూర్చుంటాను లేట్ నైట్స్ కూర్చుంటాను ఏదన్నా టెక్నాలజీలో కోడింగ్ హెల్ప్ కావాలంటే వాళ్ళు నాన్న హెల్ప్ చేస్తారు సో అలా ఇద్దరము బ్యాలెన్స్ చేసుకుంటూ వర్క్ లైఫ్ అండ్ ప్రిన్సిపి కూడా చూసుకుంటున్నాము ఎందుకంటే వాడికి అది ఇండ్యూస్ చేయాలనుకున్నాను ఏదైనా అవ్వాలి ఒక హండ్రెడ్ ఇయర్స్ లైఫ్ని భూమి మీదకి తీసుకొచ్చాము అంటే ఇట్స్ ఆర్ రెస్పాన్సిబిలిటీ టు మేక్ షూర్ దట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ వర్త్ ఇట్ ఆ లైఫ్ అనేది అందుకని వాడికి వాడు ఏదో
ఏదో అవుదాం అనుకున్నారు ఫైనల్గా యూ ఎండెడ్ అప్ ఇన్ సాఫ్ట్వేరా అలా ఏం లేదా సో యూ చూజ్ యూ చూజ్ సాఫ్ట్వేరా లేదంటే యూ వాంటెడ్ టు ఎంటర్ ఇన్ టు సైన్స్ ఫీల్డ్స్ అలాంటివి ఏమైనా చేద్దాం అనుకున్నారా ఐ కేమ్ ఫర్ అ వెరీ రూరల్ బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ అండి అంటే మా నేను ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ఫ్రమ్ అన్ ఎఫ్లుయెంట్ ఫ్యామిలీ ఐ ఎమ్ జస్ట్ లైక్ ఎనీ అదర్ గర్ల్ హూ కమ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ అ మిడిల్ క్లాస్ ఫ్యామిలీ హూ వాంటెడ్ టు ఫినిష్ మై ఎడ్యుకేషన్ అండ్ దెన్ హెల్ప్ మై ఫ్యామిలీ త్రూ సమ్ జాబ్ అలానే నేను కూడా స్టార్ట్ అయ్యాను కానీ ఎప్పుడు సైన్స్ మీద చిన్నప్పటి నుంచి ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఉండేది కానీ నాకు కరెక్ట్ గైడెన్స్ ఏం లేదు లైక్ యూనో ఇది అనేసి సో అందరిలానే నేను కంప్లీట్ చేసేసాను బట్ దెన్ నేను ఎప్పుడు లైబ్రరీకి వెళ్ళి హై స్కూల్ సైన్స్ బుక్స్ అలా కూడా తెచ్చుకొని చదువుతూ ఉంటాను ఇట్స్ నెవర్ టూ లేట్ టు లర్న్ సంథింగ్ అని చదువుతున్నప్పుడు ఐ క ఐ హ్యాడ్ అ లాట్ ఆఫ్ డిఫికల్టీ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ ద కాంప్లెక్స్ మ్యాథ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ దట్ ఇన్ ఇన్వాల్వ్స్ ఇన్ క్వాంటమ్ ఫిజిక్స్ అప్పుడు ఐ రీస్టార్టెడ్ మై జర్నీ అండ్ ఎలా అంటే మళ్ళీ బేసిక్స్ నుంచి చదవడం స్టార్ట్ చేశాను ఇట్ టుక్ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ ఫర్ మీ టు యాక్చువల్లీ గెట్ ది కాన్సెప్ట్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ సో ఇట్లా అలా మళ్ళీ రీస్టార్ట్ చేసుకున్నాను నా ప్యాషన్ని ఐ డిడ్ నాట్ వాంట్ టు ఫోర్స్ ఇట్ ఆన్ హిమ్ దట్ హ్యాపెన్ బై యాక్సిడెంట్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ హిస్ జీన్స్ ఆ వాట్ ఎవర్ హీ లర్న్ హీ వాంటెడ్ టు లర్న్ ఇట్ ఐ డిడ్ నాట్ ఫోర్స్ హిమ్ ఆన్ దాట్ కాకపోతే ఏంటంటే నా పర్సనల్గా నేనేం ఫీల్ అవుతాను అంటే జాబ్ చేస్తున్నాము ఇది మన లైఫ్ అయిపోయింది ఇంకా పిల్లలు వచ్చేసారు ఇంకా వాళ్ళు అది వేరేది ఏదో చూసుకోవాలి అని కూడా అవసరం లేదు ఎవ్రీ ఉమెన్ కెన్ బ్యాలెన్స్ అంటే మనం మనం చేయాల చేయాలనుకున్నది ఎప్పుడైనా చేయొచ్చు నాట్ త్రూ కిడ్స్ కిడ్స్ ద్వారానే చేయాలని లేదు అలాంటప్పుడు కాకపోతే వాళ్ళకి ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఏముందో అది ఎర్లీ ఏజ్లో అబ్జర్వ్ చేసి వాళ్ళని ట్రైన్ చేసి వాళ్ళ టైంని ప్రాపర్గా యూటిలైజ్ చేస్తే వాళ్ళు వేరే డివియేషన్స్కి వెళ్ళకుండా వాళ్ళకి ఒక ఫోకస్ ఉంటుంది ఒక గోల్ ఉంటుంది అండ్ టైంని ప్రాపర్గా యూటిలైజ్ చేసుకోగలుగుతారని ఫీల్ అవుతుంది మీరు మామూలుగా ఇందాక ఫార్మర్స్ది ఏదన్నా సో యూ యాక్చువల్లీ ఆర్ ఫ్రమ్ అ ఫార్మర్స్ బ్యాక్గ్రౌండ్ ఏదైనా ఉంది అండ్ అండ్ ఆ ఐడియా ఎలా వచ్చింది అసలు ఫార్మర్స్కి ఏదైనా హెల్ప్ చేద్దాం విత్ హిస్ లైక్ ష్యూర్ ప్రిన్స్ యూ వాంట్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఆర్ యూ వాంట్ మీ టు సో ఐ వాజ్ వన్ డే ఐ వాజ్ జస్ట్ థింకింగ్ ఆఫ్ లైక్ హౌ ద ఫార్మర్స్ మేనేజ్ టు డూ ఆల్ ద వర్క్ ఇన్ ద ఫార్మ్ and they have to work throughout the day with no breaks and how they have to do so much work so i thought maybe if we can help them by at least making their work a little easier so i thought maybe the robot can do the work for them so then i started researching about the robots and all the things that they can do and then since i i um, i already got the boost kit lego uh, lego boost kit when i went to chicago um i i used that uh, robotics kit and i develop a way that the farmers can or a robot that which the farmers it does the job that the farmers can do it can plow seeds it can water the plants it can put bio pesticides it can do the lawn mowing it can cut the grass it can do all the jobs that the farmers need to do so i thought maybe it will make their work a little bit easier so that's how i first uh, came with up with the idea to just help the farmers it all just uh, came up uh, i mean it, it was like you had the, the thought in uh, I mean, like that is it because watching some stuff or how did you i will answer that so yes he is like any other kid as uh, my wife said but uh, we always suggest him to use the time wisely so he will have his own plan like you know he will we will never restrict him or we will not limit him he has everything in his life like you know he plays the video games he gone outside play with the friends but we will limit, limit everything like you know not to become as a habit or like you know he becomes uh, addicted to that so we will restrict him like you know in such a way if it is something that is not going to be useful but we tell him to be wi- use his time wisely first of all so as i said like you know he does everything like a normal kid and the good thing is that when he see or come across some problem he will come to us and then he will ask one of us so we will give him some idea then he will go and do the research he will ask sometimes google or sometimes he will go to youtube he will do the research and then if we give him some problem he will bring he will come back with a solution and we always ask him to give us some speech about the problem we will just give him a problem and then he will write about the problem and then solution or what are the advantages drawbacks that's where he will do the brainstorming he will come up with he will put everything on the paper uh, uh, like that like you know when we are when we know that we are going to uh, prisco mayor's office we had uh, probably 3 4 weeks uh, notice they given 3 4 weeks notice 
he he always wanted to do something that makes the world better place and that's where like you know one day he was thinking okay so we are going to city place uh, let's think about something that will be helpful to city or like you know the residents of city that's where uh, like you know he started and then he did the research other in robots using for the farming and all and that's where like you know, he came up with this idea so ipadiki meeru you have done you are done with your chicago trip then uh, los angeles trip kada so our trips gurinchi nu and alage upcoming trips e unnai okkar matho cheptara sure so yes you are right so we went to los angeles last july so when uh, he won uh, so that was his first international competition that's called uh, international paradigm challenge almost uh, it's like you know i think 138 countries participated so they have different age groups and he won first place in his age group and uh, they have called him on the stage it was like a dream come true it's a red carpet because actually this idea came up when he, when he was browsing through the video he saw last year's uh, video that they posted so he saw on the youtube and then he came to his mom and he showed to see this uh, this kid like you know he did that he got all these things he said i want to do it i want to do it. that's where his idea like you know he got some motivation from that video and thanks to paradigm challenge mr jeff so that helped him to okay i want to go there he said the goal that he want to see himself there because it's a big limo and then it's a three day trip uh, three three days sorry three days and uh, yeah it's three nights and four days trip where they pay everything to you you're not paying anything from your pocket and we are really proud because he took us uh, to los angeles on his like you know by and he earned it so and also we went to disney world for one day and then they took us to beach and also we went to uh, hollywood studios and it's like you know it's like a very fun uh, happening place and one day they took us to the prize ceremony as well where uh, it's like a i think it's california science center where the space shuttle he was so amazed to see that it is a it's, it's one of the space shuttles that actually went to space so yeah that was really a kind of very uh, amazing experience and also the funny part is that like you know he showed the idea again there and we were surprised one of the audience he just stood up and he said i am giving 500 dollars as a seed money for him to invest on this idea so he earned 500 dollars as a investor who wanted to encourage him and then he won some prize money from the competition itself that is with the uh, paradigm challenge and then um, we are done with that so that gave him lot of motivation and encouragement because everyone started seeing him and the, they are encouraging him everyone is applauding him and he felt okay i want to do something more and uh, that's where uh, we got about uh, there are so many competitions and all thanks to my wife because she spends lot of time like you know she does lot of research even i don't know how how she will use google uh, to research, to search that i can't even search that way so she searches everything all the details and she will say okay these are the challenge and we will tell him these are the challenges so which one you want to pick so we always give him the choice while selecting the challenges you you give him an options to yes. select the challenge and uh, find out a solution for it that's right so we will tell him this is the challenge uh, this kind of problems they are they last uh, past people submitted and these are the people who won and then we will tell him like you know what this challenge is how it is going to help you so and then we found that uh, chita is a chicago toy and game fair that's it's not just about the toys it's all about like the ideas now if you see there are like you know monopoly games or whatever you see these games are the ideas given by kids of like him so all these games and all so because let's say toy uh, toy story or like an even lego lego came up with the movie so the movie are uh, all these things right so these are the ideas came from some kids like him so there lego hasbro and then uh, spinster there are so many companies who will come there they will see the ideas it's like a uh, booth kind of thing you will set up the booth representatives from different uh, legos as per they come to your uh, stage where you will explain about your game there will be a very uh, thorough review there are three rounds of reviews everybody will come and see everybody will see like how he is presenting his idea what are the uses of that can we promote this idea or can we bring this as a business so all that they will look into so that uh, the uh, that chicago toy fair so he won the best uh, outstanding presentation award uh, with his um, because uh, as i said earlier he always uses to write his script and he practices he will ask for the feedback sometimes he will ask me to record and he will check the record and then if he says that there is improvement he will do on his own and then he will say i want to do one more shot so that's where like that helped him and also my wife uh, she always uh, teaches him like you know so this is how like you know expressions how to use that how to use the gestures properly and all so that helped him a lot 
and uh, the Chicago Toy Game, Toy and Game Fair, they honored him uh, the best presentation award. And that comes with the set of toys. He won his own toys and then the so Lego I Boost. The Lego boost is what I made the grow out of. Yeah. yeah. So he, he uh, used the Lego Boost that what he won and then he made one more out of it. So that is where the Growbot came into existence. So now to answer your question, yes, we are going to New York. Uh, we are very excited. Next Friday we are traveling. So it is a three-day trip there. And he is going to be the guest presenter there. They call it as an Oscar of toys. It's like, you know, Oscar Awards for the toys. It's called Toti, the uh, Toy of the Year. Yeah, Toti Awards. It's called uh, Toti Awards where he is going to call the best toy of the year. Right, you know, so because all these toys are invented by someone else across the globe. It's not just like US. So people are traveling from around the world and um, he is going to ident uh, announce who is the winner. Actually, that is for 18 years and above, but he got as a guest speaker. Oh, okay. so as a guest speaker for 18 years and above, he is going to uh, present it. So how do you feel, buddy? Very excited to meet lots of new people and uh, just to pick the winners. It's really cool that I get to go even though I'm not eight. <laughs> Not yet, not yet. Yeah, stuff I might wear, I don't think I will. So, <laughs> so you, I mean, like, uh, you, you also work in an IT firm, right? And you uh, have IT firm. So, you have to balance this. And if you have to do it, it is difficult for me. I have to do I manager's designation. I have to do it. I have offshore calls. So, in this case, uh, time is to ne, how do you balance uh, balance yes kuntaru, so that it doesn't affect your because me mind calm ga unte ne uh, um, frustration uh, at office lo nu jagratga ne deal jayali ikkada deal jayali jagratga so how do you actually balance it's all teamwork andi um, first thing is family lo andaru okkal kokkal support cheskunte ne adi avutundi ledante avadu because um, uh, I do almost two shifts in the daily. And then at 7 o'clock, offshore calls start. So, at 7 o'clock, I have to different locations in India, and different countries in India, but I have to work on timing. And in uh, the uh, evening, at 4 o'clock, I will stop it. And then I have to do office work. After one hour, I never had a maid, I'll never have a maid. I never had a maid. And then, I'll, uh, one hour, lo, I'll try to complete everything. And then, 5 o'clock, night, 10, 11, varki, I'll see how I can manage my time with him, with my own research studies and everything. And then, uh, uh, Balu, he takes care of everything. And then, in 5 o'clock, I cook the si, food, I cook the si, food, clean the food, we do, we need Tuitions ki tis kele da maybe na soccer games, a games ani ani tis kele da ani kitha ne choose kundaru. And even morning uh, uh, or school lo drop che da ani kuda anta tha ne choose kundaru. So it's like ne uh, nu influence ekko byte kelli che alsin ne munda do. He takes care of everything that's outside. It's a teamwork basically. Yeah, and then I will add few. So as I, as I said earlier, right? It all depends upon the priority. And what we learned is that through this process, what we realize that kids will learn from us. So whatever we do, they try to imitate from us, like, you know, they learn from our actions. So we changed our lifestyle. So like, you know, probably maybe it, our life was not like this probably two, three years back, right? So when he started uh, coming to her and asking about the science and all, so we started, okay, what else we can do uh, for him to learn something new or like, you know, where we want him to be. So that's where we, tr we changed our lifestyle. We want to spend more time as much as we can. Like, you know, we never go like, you know, if something is there, some gatherings, we will go there, we'll spend some time. We never wanted to be alone, but uh, at the same time, we want to spend more time for him. So that's where we definitely meet friends, we love to meet friends. He has a lot of friends in community, in fact. So if the weather is good by now, he would be playing outside, you know. So it's very hard to track him. But as I said earlier, we try to prioritize the time and we will make sure that, you know, every, if for everything we have some time there. So it's all about the priority of the work. So final ga. What 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 message? Uh, like, okay, okay, okay. Scientist, okay, inventor, oh, he is not born, he is made. Okay, so Alan Tiji, you made him. So, what is that message that uh, final game is for uh, our viewers? And in a day, kids ni walni odle mantara so that uh, they have they start thinking out of the box uh, or kuch ni me ideas so 
వాళ్ళని ఇంకా ఏంటంటే ఇండ్యూస్ కంటే ఫోర్స్ కాకుండా జస్ట్ ఇండ్యూస్ చేసి ప్రాబ్లమ్ సొల్యూషన్స్ సో ఒకసారి అవన్నీ చెప్పుకుంటూ వస్తారు ఐ మీన్ లైక్ వాట్ ఇస్ వాట్ ఇస్ దట్ ఫైనల్ మెసేజ్ దట్ యూ వాంట్ గివ్ షూర్ ఐ విల్ టెల్ సమ్ బట్ ఐ విల్ గీ టు లలిత ఆల్సో సో ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ వీ నెవర్ రెస్ట్రిక్ట్ హిమ్ సంథింగ్ టు హీ ట్రైడ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ వన్ డే హీ సేస్ ఐ వాంట్ టు ప్లే బాస్కెట్ బాల్ ఐ టు ఐ పోటీ ఇన్ ద బాస్కెట్ బాల్ దెన్ నౌ ఈస్ ఆస్కింగ్ ఫర్ ఫుట్బాల్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు సీ వేర్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు గెట్ ద ఫుట్బాల్ కోచెస్ అండ్ ఆల్సో వీ నెవర్ రెస్ట్రిక్ట్ హిమ్ వీ విల్ గివ్ హిమ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ టు ట్రై అవుట్ సో హీ ల్యాండ్ కీబోర్డ్ హీ ల్యాండ్ గిటార్ నౌ ఈస్ యూనిక్ డ్రమ్ ఆన్ హిస్ ఓన్ సో హీ లైక్ యూ నో వీ నెవర్ రెస్ట్రిక్ట్ హిమ్ టు సంథింగ్ వీ విల్ ఆల్వేస్ గివ్ హిమ్ ద చాయిస్ టు చూస్ అండ్ వీ విల్ సీ లైక్ యూ నో వాట్ హీ ఈస్ బెస్ట్ ఎట్ సో ఆఫ్టర్ ట్రైంగ్ సమ్ టైమ్ ద కీబోర్డ్ ఆర్ ద గిటార్ హీ సెడ్ ఓకే ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ఫీలింగ్ ఐ ఐ వాంట్ టు సంథింగ్ ఎల్స్ so and now he is doing arts classes and he did his uh, he started his uh, karate when he was 3 and a half years so uh, like you know he took as a challenge he finished when he was 8 years also within 3 and a half years he finished his black belt that's not a simple achievement i wouldn't have done it so uh, so my suggestion or like you know my uh, my only advice is that so as i said earlier kids will learn from us so whatever we do they try to learn from us so that's why we will try to make our time for him we will spend some time we will always have a schedule for him so every day after coming uh, from school he watches tv we never restrict him but we will limit the time and then uh, we will ask him to do his class work or whatever the school work sometimes if he has any outgoing things like you know he goes to kickboxing and also some other tuitions to improve his other skills the public speaking or the english and whatever so we will do that as well so at the same time we will make sure that uh, he learns something new so at the end of the day we will see like you know have he learned anything new so we will never restrict him so if he has some some interest we will ask him to work on it and if he wants something like you know let's say we will give him some idea then we will tell him how he can work on that's where he learned uh, scratch programming he learned on his own that uh, happy family game that we are going to see now that he learned on his own and he did the programming on his own so yeah so as i said earlier right so it's all about how we are uh, encouraging the kids there is never a uh, yes exactly so find find out what their passion is like you know what they wanted to be so and then you can encourage them provide the resources whatever we can provide right that's the best we can do for kids and i will let her speak yeah, now manamu kids ki eppudaina manu ankuntam vallaki idu addam kaadu vallu idi cheyaleru ani maname vallani limit cheyadaniki try chestam emo ani naaku anipichindandi nenu alane ankune danni కానీ వాళ్ళు ఇంత చేయగలుగుతారా వాళ్ళకి ఇంత అర్థమవుతుందా వాళ్ళ బ్రెయిన్స్ మనకన్నా షార్ప్గా పనిచేస్తున్నాయి వాళ్ళ వాళ్ళ థింకింగ్ ఒక ఒక పర్టికులర్ వేకి లిమిట్ అయి లేదు ఎందుకంటే మనం అలా ప్రోగ్రామ్ అయిపోయాము పెరిగినప్పుడు అంతా సో మనది ఒక వే ఆఫ్ థింకింగే ఉంటుంది అందరిది బట్ వాళ్ళకి ఇంకా అది లేదు వాళ్ళ లిమిట్ కాలేదు ఒక వే ఆఫ్ థింకింగ్కి సో దీ కెన్ థింక్ ఇన్ మల్టిపుల్ పర్స్పెక్టివ్స్ అనేది నాకు అర్థమైంది వాటితో నేను ఎక్కువ టైం స్పెండ్ చేస్తూ వాడు అడిగే క్వశ్చన్స్ కానీ ఏమైనా వింటున్నప్పుడు సో కిడ్స్ కెన్ డూ do it let them do it they will handle it and naaku adhe ardham ayindi ee process lo and second thing vachi money avasaram ledandi ante manamu edo oka 100 dollars month per week pettesi oka tuition lo pettesi vallaku oka bundle of homework ochesi adi chesesthe vallaku edo ochestadi ani cheppi chaala tuitions lo pettestha untaru one after the other one after the other adi అది కాదు కావాల్సిందని నా ఫీలింగ్ అండి నేను నాకు అసలు క్లాసెస్కి పంపించడం ఇష్టం ఉండదు ఆ బండిల ఆఫ్ హోంవర్క్ చూపిస్తే నాకే విసిరి కొట్టేయాలి అనిపిస్తుంది ఇంకా పిల్లలకి ఎలా ఉంటుందో నాకు అర్థమవుతుంది అది సో నేనేమనుకుంటానంటే వాళ్ళతో మనం కూర్చోవాలి పేరెంట్స్ పైనే ఉంది అని నా ఫీలింగ్ ఎందుకంటే మనం వాళ్ళతో నవ్వుకుంటూ వాళ్ళ ఫ్రెండ్స్ లాగా కూర్చొని వాళ్ళకి నేనున్న నేను హెల్ప్ చేస్తాను నీకు బట్ నువ్వు చేసుకో నేను పక్కనే కూర్చుంటాను నువ్వు చేయి నువ్వేం చెప్పినా నేను వింటాను ఆ టైప్లో చెప్తే వాళ్ళకి ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ఉంటుంది వాళ్ళు స్ట్రెస్ఫుల్గా ఫీల్ అవ్వరు దానికి మనీ ఓ పెట్టేసి మనం చేయాల్సిన అవసరం లేదండి వాళ్ళకి కావాల్సింది టైం మనం వాళ్ళతో కూర్చోవడం వాళ్ళకి కావాల్సింది టైం అండ్ పేషెన్స్ భూదేవికున్నంత ఓర్పంటారు కదా అలా కూర్చొని వాళ్ళు ఏదో డిస్ట్రాక్ట్ అయిపోతారు ఏదేదో వేరే చెప్పాలని ప్రయత్నిస్తారు మనం మనం ఏదో చెప్పాలి అనుకున్నప్పుడు వాళ్ళు ఏదో వేరేది మాట్లాడుతూ ఉంటారు అప్పుడు మనకి కోపం వచ్చేస్తుంది న్యాచురల్ టెండెన్సీ మనం కూడా టైర్డ్ అయిపోయి ఉంటాము కానీ వాళ్ళు అది విని కూడా నవ్వి అది కాదు నాన్న ఇది ఇది మనం ఫోకస్ చేయాలి అలా చెప్పడానికి చాలా పేషెన్స్ కావాలి అది మనం తెచ్చుకుంటే ఫస్ట్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఎల్స్ దేల్ హ్యాండిల్ ఇట్ అండి అంతే మీరు ఏంటి క్వాంటమ్ ఫిజిక్స్ మీద చాలా చేశారు కదా అంటే ఫైనల్గా 
ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎంసీ స్క్వేర్ మీరు ఫార్ములా నమ్మా కరెక్టే అంటారా మీరు దాని గురించి మీరు ఈ క్వశ్చన్ అడిగి చాలా పెద్ద తప్పు చేశారండి నన్ను బికాస్ నన్ను అది టాపిక్ స్టార్ట్ చేయడానికి మీరు ప్రేరేపించారంటే నేను నాలో నుంచి ఒక చంద్రముఖిలాగా అదో ట్రాన్స్లోకి వెళ్ళిపోయి నేను చెప్తూనే ఉంటాను ఇంకా మీకు బట్ ఈజీ క్వాలిటీ ఎంసీ స్క్వేర్ అనే దాని గురించి నేను బుక్లో కూడా చాలా రాశాను ఇన్ ఇన్ఫ్యాక్ట్ నేను క్వాంటమ్ ఫిజిక్స్కి టెండ్ అవ్వడానికి అది ఒక సబ్జెక్ట్ ఉంది అది ఒక అసలు లైఫే దానికి డెడికేట్ చేసేయాలి అనిపించేలాగా నన్ను చేసింది కూడా ఈ క్వశ్చనే అండి అది ఇట్స్ ఇట్స్ పర్స్పెక్టివ్ అండి ఒక్కొక్క దేవుడు అంటే ఇప్పుడు ఒక్కొక్కరికి ఒక్కొక్కలాగా అర్థమవుతాడు కదా అలానే వాళ్ళు ఎలా అర్థం చేసుకోవాలనుకుంటారో దానికి అన్వయం చేసుకుంటారు వాళ్ళ ఈక్వేషన్ అంతే ఆ దాని మీద నేను ఏం చెప్పలేను బట్ నాకు అర్థమైంది ఏంటంటే అంటే బేసికల్గా నాకు దా ఆ ఈక్వేషన్లో నాకు డివినిటీ కనిపించింది ఒక ఇట్స్ కాల్ ద గాడ్స్ ఈక్వేషన్ ఫర్ సమ్ రీజన్ అంటే ఎందుకు అని నేను దానిలో అండర్స్టాండ్ చేసుకోవడానికి ఐ డగ్అప్ అ లాట్ అనమాట ఏంటంటే ఇప్పుడు ఒక మాస్ అండ్ ఎనర్జీ ఈక్వెలెన్స్ గురించి మాట్లాడుతుంది ఆ ఈక్వేషన్ అండ్ యాజ్ యాజ్ వీ ప్రోగ్రెస్ వీ కెనాట్ రీచ్ ద స్పీడ్ ఆఫ్ లైట్ ఫర్ సమ్ రీజన్ అది స్పీడ్ ఆఫ్ లైట్ ఈజ్ అ నంబర్ త్రీ హండ్రెడ్ కిలోమీటర్స్ పర్ సెకండ్ మనం ఎంత ప్రయత్నించినా ఎంత ప్రయత్నించినా కూడా వీ కెన్ నెవర్ రీచ్ ద స్పీడ్ ఆఫ్ లైట్ ఎప్పుడు నైంటీ నైన్ పాయింట్ నైన్ నైన్ సంథింగ్ వెళ్ళగలుగుతాం కానీ వీ కెనాట్ క్రాస్ ఇట్ యాజ్ ఇఫ్ సంబడి పుట్ట బ్యారియర్ నువ్వు ఇది క్రాస్ చేయలేవు ఎందుకంటే ద మూమెంట్ వీ క్రాస్ దట్ బ్యారియర్ వీ కెన్ సీ అవర్ ఫ్యూచర్ అది ఎవరో రెస్ట్రిక్ట్ చేసి ఒక 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 బ్యారియర్ లాగా అక్కడ పెట్టేశారు అది ఈజ్ గాడ్ ఈక్వేషన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎంసీ స్క్వేర్ ఈజ్ బేసికలీ షోయింగ్ ద ప్రూఫ్ దట్ సంబడి ఈజ్ రెస్ట్రిక్టింగ్ యూ నాట్ టు సీ యువర్ ఫ్యూచర్ అది అందుకే ఇట్స్ ఇట్స్ అ బ్యూటిఫుల్ ఈక్వేషన్ అండ్ దట్స్ వై ఎవ్రీబడి ప్రేజెస్ ఐన్స్టైన్ లైక్ దట్ బికాస్ హీ హీ వెంట్ అండ్ స్టాప్ దట్ నియర్ దట్ వాల్ వేర్ ది అదర్ సైడ్ ఈజ్ నాట్ రివీల్ టు అస్ అది క్వశ్చన్ అయితే అడగ్ ఈజీ కూడా ఎంసీ స్క్వేర్ కరెక్ట్ ఇది ఈ అడగడానికి కూడా కారణం ఏంటంటే ఐ సా వన్ ఆఫ్ హిస్ వీడియో వేరే ఈ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ అబౌట్ దిస్ ఈజీ కూడా ఎంసీ స్క్వేర్ సరే అడుగుదా ఒకసారి నేను చెప్పానంటే ఇందాక చెప్పాను కదా ఈ బీకాంలో ఫిజిక్స్ ఏదైతే చెప్తారు సో బీకాంలో ఫిజిక్స్ కేటగిరీలో పడేస్తారని మిమ్మల్ని అడుగుదాం అని బట్ థ్యాంక్ యూ the people don't uh, make uh, and troll troll this but uh, yeah thank you for uh, giving us uh, time and uh, hope ilage uh, he he'll continue his uh, journey and he'll definitely invent something uh, which is which would be u- useful for human kind all the best uh, buddy so thank now you. let's yeah. let's go let's get your uh, see uh, go and just check what your experiments and uh, you can demonstrate it for us okay So Prince can you just explain about this robot? Yeah, this is my robot invention. It's the one that I took to the to the mayor. What the, this um as I said I made this cuz the farmers have to do so much work. They have to work throughout the day and it's a very very tiring job for them. So I thought maybe the robot can do the work. So this is what it looks like. The good things about the the robot is it's less expensive solar battery powered it can sow seeds into the ground it can mow grass it can show live video with the camera that i'm putting it allows remote farming easily programmable which means you can easily set schedules and it can sense obstacles with this sensor it can spray water or spray biopesticide instead of putting the 
other chemicals into the plants. So this is your Lego block, right? Which yeah. Uh, so this I got it from the Lego Boost. I won the Lego Boost actually from the Chicago Toy and Game Fair after I got this best best presentation award from the young the Chicago Toy and Game Fair best presentation award. So with that they gave a big bag of toys and this is the Lego Boost is one of them. So I took that and I used it the Lego Boost kit to make this. So if you want to see it working you can run this code. First I'm going to turn it on. Okay. So it has to be blue light to mean it connected. So this one you can actually drive it to where you want it to go. It actually drives remotely from anywhere around the world and if you click this it will go forward. Mhm. Mm it 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 this so put seeds down and pick the seeds up and then it's just going to keep putting the seeds down and then it will keep putting more and more seeds and see, i made this tip which will make like a line or in the soil it will put like a line and this will put seeds in that line so it will make the line and then as it's making the line it will put the seeds one by one so the programming language right i mean like when you say it can be controlled by anywhere mm. so what language i mean like how did you code it it's you coded it you you yeah i coded it all by myself because it comes with the app to code it actually so it's very simple coding blocks that it uses so it's like this block is to control it around this block means it if i click the button it will do all these things and if it senses an obstacle it will go around the obstacle so it's very basic coding so they coded the blocks to do the code okay so you use that and uh, how about this boost stuff so it's a that you have to construct it or it is by default a toy which actually moves it comes with um, it comes with all the pieces so you just have to create it by yourself cuz it comes with motors and everything so you make it by yourself and you connect the motors and everything after you do that you can put the code in since if after you connect the wiring then you can actually um tell it what to do like for the motor motor spin like tell the mo you can make the motor spin or this obstacle sensor when it senses something within say 5 cm go around it so it it's it's e it's pretty easy to program it so this particular thing now uh, after you have uh, demonstrated it did someone actually approach you saying that they got they ready to invest in this and they did they take the prototype did, so that in real time Uh, yeah so the unt people they're actually uh, helping me in their car giving me resources they're actually helping us with patenting and it in trying to make it a real product okay so there are people who are working yes. at it so this is one equipment which does all those uh, mm -hmm. things which you have explained yeah okay and how much how many days did it take for you to build the center this entire... one it took, took uh, one month and it uh, programming to at least like 3 or 4 days okay so on a whole this is a one and a half months yeah. product yes good man so let's let's move on to the next one yes that's it or did i miss anything about no, this robot no i didn't miss anything so prince that was your growbot right now in this if i'm not wrong is the happy family smart app right yeah. so i this is the one i took to the chicago toy and game fair so i made the i made the app the board game and i also made this video game so the app we made the working prototype and we're working on putting it into the app store and android so uh so then we have this video game i made the video game with audio so also our visually impaired friends can also play with the no help so oh so this is both for visually impaired as well as normal rule number 1 each player takes a turn youngest goes first each time each player rolls one die they will move that many steps your score becomes the point on the landing square Performing task each time you roll the dice. The first one to reach stop or the target will be the winner. Winner's score will be decided before the game. 
If you land on a red cross box, you get no points. Now, let's do the instructions. Turn on audio mode to play with audio. To start game, click on green flag. Click on spacebar to roll the dice when it is your turn. To on audio mode, click on the spacebar. Those are all the rules. Now, let's begin the game. Okay, so how you play is you will first roll the dice by clicking the space bar and it will give you two. You got two. Move two steps. It will actually move it for you. So. You got 20 points and your task is Fortnite dance. So it, it's, it will give you some funny tasks and it will give you some tasks to do like funny activities or family activities like that. So. That one uh, you have when you say that that's an uh, what what's uh, that's a video game or that's an app which one? This one is the video game. This one's the app. Okay, so the video game. What language did you use to code it? Uh, I use Scratch. You used Scratch for coding. Yeah, so it. here it shows. See if you go see inside, it shows all the codes that I used for the different things. So here I only use two blocks here and like. See, like for if every different thing you have to do, the different programming and all, right? So mm -hmm. that's what we did, and I just had to co code every single thing here. So yeah. how 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 did you int uh, develop this interest of learning coding, and it's purely because of your uh, father and mother uh, technology yeah. background? Yeah. So I wanted to make my board game, and after I came up with this board game, I'm like. I wanted to take it further uh, and I made it into a video game so my parents gave me uh, the technology that they thought is easiest for me and will work best and they came found in scratch and they said this will be pretty easy for you and they so was this board game an idea which was developed from uh, the monopoly or the business game or um, I wanted to make my own video game, so I just included some cards and points and the dice, so I could actually be like a real uh, board game. Okay. This one's. And what what when you say family activities, what all did you put in that? Um, for this one, uh, um, some of them I put in was like sing a song. Um, let's find one. So. So it is like uh, give, um, like tell a poem or like like it'll tell family activities like um, to do like family activities like go to a walk walk in the park tell a joke family group hug say I love you to one person so it gives like different family activities like talk about your vacation memory and thank one person say sorry to one person. This is actually very important these days, right? Because yeah. uh, the family time is getting reduced. Yeah. So that's when you observe this, or no? I don't think so. Family time for you is more. Yeah. It, it's because of your friends. Did some of your friends complain about it? No, not really. I wanted to just help people that might have lots of like, stress and like stress in in anxiety problems to keep them um, emotionally and physically. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah choti mu badi like uh, <laughs> that's that's good man and the rules and regulations so the, the you have written the set of rules uh, yeah, so it yes. is pre written by you yeah mm -hmm. so you can tell me few um like whenever i did what i did was um when i clicked this um flag one it will tell all the rules and instructions before you start the game so when you click this it will let's review the rules and instructions the one we had at the beginning is the Oh. Each player mm -hmm. takes a turn. Youngest goes first. Each time player rolls the dice, they will move that many steps. Your score becomes the point on the landing square. You must perform a task each time you roll the dice. The first one to reach stop. And the then if you know all the rules, you can just Winners click score. this one and it'll stop playing. It'll start playing. Mm -hmm. Good man, and this is this is uh, where where did you actually demonstrate uh, this one? This was for which Chicago uh, Toy and Game Fair. Chicago. Chicago, and that's where you won your boost. Uh, this uh, thing. Yes, and the best presentation award. Oh, that's good man.
Yeah, so this is your sneeze pods, right? Yes, Which you demonstrate. Yes, the parent challenge. Uh huh. So this is the sneeze pods, the division um four to eight years group. So last year is the when I did this when I was eight years old. So the sneeze pod, it's like to prevent the spread of germs. Um, I don't. I think I have one in here. So, and like they will come. I made these little um. Uh, caricature cases so encourage kids to keep themselves um, healthy and hygienic so here's one of them this this is one version that they look like um so like this is one of the adult version because it doesn't have the characters but the the kids version will have like spider-man tissues and all those so what what you how it works is you can blow your nose into this pocket here so you can blow your nose then you can wipe your nose on this tissue then you can tuck this tissue in so it like covers all the yucky stuff and then you can use it again and then wipe your nose and then you can tuck it in again so that all the germs are covered and you can throw it in the trash can without the germs spreading so i mean like so this is, does it have any did you the, the tissue did you dip any chemical did you put any chemicals in it or mm. it's a normal tissue and you just came up with this idea yeah it's just a normal tissue but the where you wipe your nose it has like a moisture like moisture is it like there okay so this what yeah. type of moisture is it can you tell us oh um, i don't i don't know what kind of moisturizer but we just some put the moisturizer there so this is actually the traveling case that you can get it comes with two bottles in it so one bottle is for the is coconut oil like a not natural moisturizer for your nose if you get rashes cuz you keep on using it and then the other one is hand sanitizer for cuz if you're going on tra camping trips or something you don't have water to wash your hands and anything right and it will also save the water so this is again a prototype and are, prototype, are you, yeah. you you are actually who is helping out to get a um, present uh, for this the unt is it's helping with all my things all, 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 all of them yes and then have you i know that uh, i should not ask you this thing but is it like how how much are you planning to put it in market for one one uh, sneeze pod with the moisturizing kit for this one is maybe like 1 or 2 dollars per thing so it's it's cost cost effective for the people who wants to like fifty cents yeah. to one dollar. <laughs> I don't know. No worries. Let let let's leave the business. Yeah. So this is one of my first inventions. It was my very first one that I made when I was six, and it was my first YouTube video too. From it's called it's called a spectroscope, and it takes light and it turns it into element from the periodic table. So what you do is I made this little slit or I made a slit here and I made a square box here and I used the CD and I cut here so I can put the CD in so the light will shine and it will put a different like pattern on here when you look through but it will go onto the CD and you can see a different pattern so if if you see a different light pattern or a different color pattern like Right now it's showing blue, green, yellow, red, orange and purple. So that's one of the elements of the periodic table. And if you go and you can match the elements with the periodic table from the different um, light uh, order. So like the different order of the colors makes a different element of the periodic table. So, Prince, uh, can you just tell us about, show us all your, I, I do see many awards and recognitions mm -hmm. and all your stuff, so can you just uh, tell us about those? So, this is a picture of me from the International Paradigm Challenge. That's me right there. And then this is me on the newspaper. Elementary students surprised with full right to UNT. So, this is the Tantix um, um, Award. This is a state recognition that I got. And then here is the proclamation I got from the mayor. 
and also here this is from the uh, new the Chicago Toy and Game Fair so when I went one I got a trip to New York Toy Fair so here it says trip to New York Toy Fair right here and so yeah those are some of my awards and then over here is my trophy from the uh, the Chicago Toy and Game Fair the trophy that I got from for the best presentation award so those are all my awards and the, 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 what, what set that you're working on now currently can you tell us um, right now I'm working on a uh, firebot this robot can go in and when they have the fires and it will have like a protective dome around it so the fire can like hit it or damage it or, so, or so whatever so what it here so here I what I did was I put this plate and here it's what it does is like if you need to put water there so if it's like too um, too much like fire and you need water so this one will have water in like the sprinkler systems, right? What it will do is it will go around and it will just put the, the sprinkle the water. And then we, are, we also attached a camera to it. So in there will be a little hole for the camera in the, the shell kind of thing. It will have a little hole for the camera and a little hole for the water to come out. Yeah, okay. So it's again uh, remote controlled and uh, it's, it's uh, similar to uh, a drone type. Kind of, yeah. A kind of drone. Where yeah, like where the drone will like drop it there near the building and then it can do its job. And how, uh, when you say this is a firebot, how much uh, water is it going to carry? Uh, how are you going to build a tank? Um, we will build a very lightweight tank, which but it will only spray like like not so much water. I mean, it will spray the water. I mean, like we could connect it to the water hose, right? And it will get the water supply, but it will only go a certain distance. Uh, okay. Yeah. So those all you are still working yeah, on? Yeah, we're right? still working on it. It's a work in progress. We're not done with it yet. So this is my most current uh, invention that we're working and, on. And when are you planning to display it? Uh, I mean, like for what challenge are you preparing? Uh, for what competition are you preparing? This? We, we don't have it yet. As I said, we first tried to build the working prototype, then we submitted to the challenges, right? Uh, so. Okay, I thought you, you were actually, you had that goal of meeting the president. Right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So this issue. one is like, we might be using this for the environmental youth protection. Uh, uh, the PIA, PIA Awards, I think, PIA Awards, um, so we might be using it for that one because it's a protection award, right, so it might work, but it's environmental, so we don't know if it's going to work, if it's something. So, thanks, Prince.